it's just the Golden Girls, so go watch the yeah. Golden Girls. Yeah, it's got yeah. funny, or some funny visual, eh, actually, it's got visual gags. I can't really say that they're funny. We are going to be doing a discussion today. Today's discussion is going to be on Golden Girls 3033. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm mainly talking about this because I already exhausted a lot of energy this week doing the Monkey Jones retrospective. So I kind of just want to talk about something simple today. Um, so we're going to be talking about a new animated project that has no creativity and no vision behind it. That yeah, being uh, no. this one. So, what this is, is I'm one of the guys who's mixed up in Inside Job and um, Bojack Horseman and um, what else was it? Inside Job, Bojack Horseman, uh, and Two Gun Birdie. He oh, yeah, decided that, that he was going to uh, make a new show. And the new show was going to be that he would take old clips from the show Golden Girls and he would make that into a completely new animated series. And the premise of it is, is that it's Golden Girls set in a Jetsons-like future where um, aliens exist and apparently they found like the Fountain of Youth and stuff. So it's basically like Rick and Morty meets Golden Girls meets Futurama. Yeah, basically. And honestly, I think the premise could work, and I like the sound of it. Mm -hmm. But the problem is just reusing the Golden Girls audio. Like, I grew up on early Adult Swim. I've watched Space Ghost Coast to Coast. I've watched Sea Lab 2020 one or 2022 i don't remember the name of it i have watched uh fucking harvey birdman attorney at law a lot of these shows use pre-established characters a lot of the times mm -hmm. they use already existing animation cells and they make a whole new story out of this reuse content it's not completely out of the question that you can take pre-existing stuff and transform it hell just look at um just look at the abridging scene on YouTube. There's a lot of people who can take existing content and transform it into something completely different. But mm -hmm. this ain't it. This ain't it. From the pilot I've seen, the only thing they did was add in a Cthulhu alien and make one of the Golden Girls be a robot. That's it. That's the only difference between that episode and an actual episode of Golden Girls. And I hate to say this because I know a lot of people probably love this show, they're boomers, but I don't <laughs> like the Golden Girls. It'd be like taking Sanford and Son and setting in a post-apocalyptic America and they're now fucking scrappers working for like an evil fucking government. It's like, I don't care. I don't care about 1970s sitcoms. I don't want to see it. <laughs> I mean, oh, my thing is, is like, it already exists. It literally already exists. It, they could just, if people want to watch it, they could just go back and rewatch the show on yeah. Netflix or whatever what service it's being me streamed that on. Golden Girls doesn't already give me. Yeah, exactly. It's doing nothing different. It's just changing up the visuals, and it's they can't fucking change the storyline to address any of the stuff. It's just goofy gags going on Jeez. in the back. Which could work. That'd be fine if it was for a shit post. Like, a little fucking channel on YouTube or some shit. It being a, like, it's supposed to be an actual show. I, it's just dumb. I've heard it's... people praising the little fucking background comedy gag stuff. But I really think I the can't. background comedy gag stuff is all you can do. With this mm -hmm. heavy limitation of, we're just reusing old clips. Yeah. Like, it is a terrible, terrible idea to just reuse old clips from pre-existing media. Like, mm -hmm. 
I can understand if you want to, like, sample it and make, like, text-to-speech robots and shit. I've seen that work. Star Wars has been mm -hmm. doing that a lot recently. But just straight up reusing every clip for the show is a terrible idea. It's a terrible idea that will limit what you can do. It's not a Golden Girls continuation. It's not a Golden no. Girls reboot. It's literally no. content theft. Yeah. This is it's so uncreative and stupid, I just don't understand. What, like... I, I just, I don't get what, what drives you to do this. Like, I've seen better things made by people as a shit post than this. Mm -hmm. And Justin yeah. Roiland, the guy who made, um, the guy who made Rick and Morty, when he was still really young, he made a show called House of Cosby's. And in House of Cosby's, he didn't reuse Bill Cosby clips. He just did a shitty Bill Cosby voice. And even though mm -hmm. he did a shitty Bill Cosby voice, I thought the show was funny, and I liked the show. It doesn't matter, like, if it's authentic and if it sounds just like the original actor. What matters is the characters the actor portrayed. People don't like Dragon Ball Bridge because of the voices. You don't have to reuse Goku audio. People like it because of Goku and the way that they characterize Goku. Like you yeah. have to you have to be able to use your own fucking stuff. You have to be able to put your own twist on the characters. You have to be able to fucking come up with something new to endear people. Yep. Like exactly. this cannot substitute writing. Like, there's nothing you can do with this show. The most you can do is just turn someone into an alien. So it'll literally oh, just be a Golden Girls episode, but with, like, a few slapstick gags. And it's like, do I we think... really need this to exist? <laughs> I think the most annoying thing they did was the fucking alien voice for, uh, uh fucking Stan or whatever his name was. I don't remember his name. Here's my it's big thing. What what constitutes him needing to be an alien? Like oh, maybe if they nothing. maybe if they made a joke where like the ring that he has is shitty, but it's customary for his Jesus. culture to give out shitty rings, then maybe yeah. him being an alien could work. Or maybe the ring looks ugly because it's an alien ring and not a regular ring. Like any yeah. excuse for him to be an alien. But they don't they can't make up do an excuse anything. to justify him being an alien. Yeah, it's because they can't do anything because they're extremely limited by uh, the audio that they're using. And it's their choice to use the audio, which is I mean, stupid. But they're, they're talking about the ring. You can still do a lot with the limitation of they're talking about the ring. But it's just the fact of they don't want to do anything with it. They don't no, want to be I mean. creative. They don't want to fucking do something new. They literally no, just I mean. want to reuse as much of the Golden Girls as they can. It's just stupid. Cause I, it's a novel concept that's going to get them a few viewers for the first few episodes. Maybe some people that will binge the first season. But they're not going to get more than that. Like, at all. Yeah. It, there's nothing fucking there. If people want to watch the Golden Girls, you want to play, we'll go watch the play. fucking Golden Girls. I hate to say this, but this this is coming out like right after Betty White died at 99. And the yeah. cynical side of me wants to say that they just did this so they can cash grab on the Golden Girls being popular again due to mm -hmm. the death of Betty White. And I'm not yeah. trying to play a morality thing. I'm playing a capitalism thing. It's yeah. not, it's not fucking, it's not new knowledge to say that when a celebrity dies, Hollywood cashes in on it. We've mm -hmm. seen it happen with Michael Jackson. We've seen it happen with Tupac. We've seen it happen with so many dead celebrities now. You know it's true. This is just yeah. the next level of that. Even when you die now in Hollywood, you're not allowed to retire. They're going to continue using your stuff. They're going to continue using your image. They're going to continue using your voice. They're going to continue using your stories. You mm -hmm. cannot escape Hollywood now, even in death. They will fuck up your name. They will fuck up your creations. And they will fuck up your legacy, even when you're dead. 
Like, this yep. has been a thing for a while. Like, there was a Three Stooges cartoon that came out well after the Three Stooges died. There was the Happy Days cartoon, the Bill and Ted cartoon. There was a lot of cash grab cartoons. But the thing is, is that with all these shows, they came up with their own fucking premise. They came up with their own fucking lines. And they mm -hmm. came up with their own universes. It wasn't just Happy Days. It was Happy Days in Space. It wasn't <laughs> just fucking uh, Bill and Ted. They did different stuff with the cartoons. They did mm -hmm. different stuff with these things. They get fucking impersonator actors to do the lines. Like, it's not just a soulless copy. They actually put some effort into it. Yeah. That's honestly, all I ask for. With everything that uh, I've seen just from the pilot for the show, it looks like it. it's a fucking shit pose. Yeah. If it stuck to just being little clips that's just people doing dumb visual gags, I think it'd be fine. It Trying honestly, to make it an actual show just doesn't fucking work. It honestly seems like something from the Rick and Morty interdimensional cable gags. <laughs> and like, the fact that this is being made from the guy who made Inside Job, which I love Inside Job, but it is a Rick and Morty ripoff. It just feels like to me that this is made to fucking be like Rick and Morty. Even mm -hmm. though we already have so many Rick and Morty clones at this point. The market's yeah. oversaturated, and you have to find the one fucking person in this world that wants Rick and Morty and the Golden Girls. Yeah. That's a small, small audience of people that want Rick and Morty and the Golden Girls. Yeah, that looks like the Jetsons. Like, it's such a weird fucking mishmash of things. If I can get nitpicky for a second. I think it's really stupid that they're doing the whole, um, I, I think it's really stupid they're doing the whole found a youth thing when they're not yeah. youthful. They're still no. the same old ladies. One of them is literally a robot. <laughs> like, Sophia. it would be fine if they were frozen Futurama style, but the fact that they're doing it to where it's like they're supposed to be having a fountain of youth. It just makes no sense in universe, and it just seems like they didn't think it through. Like it's, no. it's something you make up in the writers' room, but it's not something you actually make. And that's how this was made: is that the the guy was writing for BoJack Horseman, and he came up with this as a fucking funny gag for the writers' room. This mm -hmm. was not meant to be an actual product, and it's not an actual product. It's a shit no. It's it's a joke. Like, this yeah. whole thing is a joke, and it should never, it should never be a real product. It should never be something that actually exists. It should not be something that's getting this far. And mm -hmm. for the people who are supporting this, for the people who like this, you are supporting creative bankrupt uh, fucking ideas. Um, yep. You are supporting laziness of Hollywood. This isn't even a reboot. This isn't even a continuation no. like other stuff. This is literally just a reuse of pre-made stuff with mm -hmm. the bare minimum amount of effort put into it Last this is beyond lazy and it should not become the standard for this and if they get away with this if they get to make this and make money off of it this will not be the last old show that they just left. dig up the fucking profit off of yeah it's it i don't like the way things are gonna go if, if this does become popular and i I'm skeptical that it will become popular, just because it's such a fucking lazy idea. But if it does, it's just going- because, like, a fucking- they're already out of ideas. Hollywood yeah. is already out of ideas. They've already done reboots, they've already done continuations, they've already done continuations after failed reboots. Mm -hmm. they, they've done everything. The only thing they can do at this point is literally just reuse the old stuff with no changes. And that's what this is. There can't be changes because they're not using a text-to-speech bot. They're not no. using sound alikes. They're just no. using old clips. Mm -hmm. There can't be anything new with this show. This show no. is creatively bankrupt because the premise is too limited. Exactly. Like, I can't even get mad at them for it, because it's their own fault. It's their own premise's fault. 
It'd be like getting mad at Claymation for looking too <laughs> stilted. It's within the fucking limitations of the idea. You can't really get mad at it at that point. One enemy remaining. I mean, like... Like, I say if they want to make this work, fucking write your own scripts, get your own voice actors, mm -hmm. continue the characters, continue the universe. I think that Golden Girls in the future is funny. I think it it's could fucking wacky. I like it. But it needs to be its own thing. It needs to be yeah. its own world, and it needs to be its own setup. Like I said, I like Justin Roiland's House of Cosby's. I like Space Ghost Coast to Coast. I like Sea Lab. I like fucking Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. I like a lot of stuff that just reuses old stuff and reuses old characters in wacky ways. This should be right up my alley, but it's not. I don't want to yeah. watch The Golden Girls. I don't like The <laughs> Golden Girls. Sell me on your wacky thing by actually making it wacky. Yeah, well, I think it's fine to not like the Golden Girls. It's a, it's for an older audience because it's yeah. meant for the fucking. It's meant for old ladies and shit. Yeah, it's meant but, for boomers. Yeah, but the thing is, when you have that and you're bringing it back, like it, it's a niche audience. And then you're, you're also it back for. you're bringing it back. It's already for a niche audience. And then you make your continuation reboot thing aimed at Rick and Morty fans. Yeah. Like it's just that just I, makes no honestly, sense to me. It's like you completely misread the audience. You completely mm -hmm. misread your demographic. You don't mm -hmm. know what the fucking current cartoon landscape is like, and this thing is gonna flop. Yeah, because like, honestly, like, I used to watch The Golden Girls when I was younger with my grandmother, and I liked it then, but I wouldn't go back to rewatch it. However, if it was just dumb little visual things, like a few, like, five-minute episodes up on YouTube where the person's clearly, it's just shit takes, uh, shit posts, I'd watch a couple of them, I'd bother to put in the time, because I think that'd be fucking... I think it's a wacky idea. It just being the episodes redone for a new show, I think is really fucking dumb and lazy and I don't want to watch it. Yeah, I just honestly don't it, see this it working. Me off. I don't think mm -hmm. there's any universe where this works. No, to me, I definitely it just, don't think so. It just seems like it's destined to fail. It doesn't mm -hmm. understand what makes shows like Rick and Morty great. It doesn't understand what made a bridge series great or anything that came before it. It's just mm -hmm. completely out of touch and it's going to fail. If it even gets off the ground, which I doubt it will. I don't even think it'll yeah. get off the fucking ground. I think I this definitely is hope dead on arrival and everyone's gonna mock it. Mm-hmm. Well, cause like... It it's just the Golden Girls. So go watch the yeah. Golden Girls. Yeah, it's got yeah. funny or some funny visual. Eh, actually, it's got visual gags. I can't really say that they're funny, but it's just. It, what's the point in that? Because if you don't like the Golden Girls and you're just watching it for the visuals, it's kind of pointless. Yeah. And if you like vis, uh, if you do like the Golden Girls, but the visuals put you off because it's it's really different. It's fuck. It's it's not really the same. But what's the point? Especially with the fucking... If they're gonna do more alien characters like the one dude with the annoying fucking voice filter, I just... I don't see the point in going back to watch it. Yeah. I say that this is just for the rare niche audience that wants Rick and Morty and the Golden Girls. And I don't think you're gonna find that rare niche audience that you want. I think that no. this is just a terrible idea.